This video demonstrates the significant fire challenge created by combustible open top containers within a rack storage array. When relying on automatic sprinklers only being installed at the ceiling level of a warehouse, there are two critical factors that can change the outcome of a potential fire. First, to activate the ceiling sprinklers, heat from the fire must be able to get to the ceiling in a timely fashion. For example, storage arrangements using solid shelves prevent quick vertical fire spread and can delay sprinkler operation. Second, the water that is discharged from the sprinkler system must be able to flow down through the rack and get to the materials that are burning. Any storage arrangement that prevents this flow of sprinkler discharge will allow the fire to grow to unacceptable levels. For example, racks with solid shelves will prevent sprinkler water from reaching the fire and allow excessive horizontal fire spread. Similarly, combustible open top containers collect the sprinkler water at upper levels of the rack and prevent it from reaching the burning materials at lower levels. Here are two types of combustible open top containers. Using these items in a rack will result in a significant delay or prevention of the sprinkler water traveling down through the rack. In combustible open top containers that have non-continuous walls or openings in the walls, water will fill the container until it can escape. Some containers have fully solid walls and bottoms. In these, the water will collect until the container overflows. Regardless of design, both container types prevent the water from promptly getting to the fire, which results in larger fires that may not be protectable using only ceiling level sprinklers. It is easy to understand that a combustible open container on the top of a rack will collect sprinkler water, but here you can see that even after the top container is filled and water begins running down its sides, the water curls under the container and into the top of the next container down. So just covering the top level of containers does not solve the problem because the water will just collect in the next open container. Plastic open top containers look very much like an uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity. FM Global has defined adequate fire protection for our standardized, uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity using ceiling only sprinkler protection. This commodity consists of a stack of plastic pallets on a wooden pallet and contains a significant amount of plastic per unit of storage within the rack. An array consisting of a 25 foot or 7.6 meter high rack fully loaded with the standard uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity under a 40 foot or 12 meter high ceiling with a 4 foot or 1.2 meter aisle between racks was tested. Ceiling sprinkler protection was provided by Pendant K25.2 or 360 quick response storage sprinklers designed to deliver 60 PSI or 4.1 bar. This produces 195 gallons per minute or 740 liters per minute from each sprinkler. The still images from the test take us from ignition through suppression at less than 16 minutes after ignition when the test was terminated. One sprinkler operated in this test. There was no horizontal fire spread and the fire was contained to the ignition flue. So, in this test, 195 gallons per minute, or 740 liters per minute, was able to very convincingly suppress the fire and prevent excessive horizontal fire spread. The uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity fire test was repeated, but this time the commodity consisted of open top plastic containers. The containers were empty. The open top plastic containers consist of a lot less plastic in each storage slot than our standard uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity. One difference in this test was the aisle width between racks was increased to 10 feet or 3 meters. However, the sprinkler design is still delivering the same 195 gallons per minute or 740 liters per minute per sprinkler. At time zero, the igniters are lit. At four minutes and 25 seconds, flames can be seen above the top storage level, and at four minutes and 30 seconds, the flames are almost up to the ceiling level. At 4 minutes and 35 seconds, the first sprinkler operates, and the flames are quickly driven down the rack to the lower tiers. 
fire is being knocked down. By 7 minutes and 36 seconds, the fire has moved away from the operating sprinkler towards the end of the rack and grown vertically back to the top of the rack. The fire involving the first three tiers of storage is burning freely. Eight minutes, five seconds, still one active head. Ceiling ten temperatures have increased. At eight minutes and 12 seconds, another sprinkler operates. And at eight minutes and 25 seconds, an additional sprinkler operates well away from the main rack. The fire continues to spread towards both ends of the rack. The fire involving the bottom three tiers of the rack is not being controlled by the ceiling sprinklers. By the end of the test, a total of eight sprinklers operated and the fire burned to both ends of the rack. If the rack was longer, the fire would have continued horizontally, resulting in more ceiling sprinkler operations until the water supply would be overtaxed. So here we had a similar product consisting of an uncartoned, unexpanded plastic but the sprinkler protection design that was used in the standard uncartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity test failed to stop the spread of fire within the rack. The difference, in this test, the sprinkler water was being collected in the combustible open top containers and was not allowed to flow to the lower areas of the rack where the fire was located. It is well known that plastic storage can produce severe storage fires. You might be wondering if open top corrugated containers present the same challenge to a ceiling sprinkler system's ability to control a fire. In this demonstration fire, two rack arrays are set up side by side. Each array is under a single quick response sprinkler. The storage height is 15 feet or 4.6 meters and the ceiling height is 30 feet or 9.1 meters. The left storage array consists of the FM Global standard carton unexpanded plastic commodity with no open top containers. The right storage array is identical except the top tier of storage is replaced with an open top corrugated container. The single sprinkler over each array will deliver a flow of 159 gallons per minute or 600 liters per minute which is more than adequate for cartoned unexpanded plastic storage at this storage height. Starting at time zero, both arrays are ignited. Okay, at five seconds, the flame heights are at the top of the first tier. Both arrays look fairly consistent. Top of the second tier, 15 seconds. Over the top of the third tier, 18 seconds on the... Uh, By 30 seconds, the fire in both storage arrays are above the top storage level. The sprinkler over the cartoned, unexpanded plastic commodity rack operates at 33 seconds and the fire is quickly driven back down through the rack. At 44 seconds, the sprinkler over the rack with combustible open top containers on its top tier operates, but the fire is not as quickly driven down into the rack. And some flames at the base of the second tier, spreading laterally. At There's one minute and 15 seconds, the fire in the rack seconds. without combustible open top containers is mostly located in the first Going, tier uh, with some flames seconds. in the second tier. While the fire in the rack with combustible Same open top containers is fully involving the first spaces. and second tiers of storage. At four minutes and 40 seconds, you can no longer see any fire in the rack on the left while the rack on the right with the combustible open top containers is now fully involved in fire. As was obvious in the video, the left rack was quickly suppressed by the single sprinkler. At 4 minutes and 41 seconds after ignition, fire cannot even be seen in the left rack. However, the rack on the right continues to burn. Finally, the majority of the right side storage array is consumed. The only difference between these two fires is the presence of combustible open top containers on the top tier of the rack on the right side. 
The series of tests discussed in this video clearly demonstrates how combustible open-top containers prevent water flow from sealing sprinklers from getting to the fire resulting in a significant challenge to sealing only sprinkler protection. The use of combustible open-top containers significantly impedes the water flow. In addition, the combustible open-top container construction material does not change the hazard.